In this question, I've been asked to uh, look at the uh, table that I showed you in an earlier video and estimate the uh, theoretical bond length between arsenic and iodine. As we examine that table, we can see that iodine, which is element 53, has a, a theoretical bond length of 1.33. Arsenic, in contrast, which is element 33, has a calculated bond length of, uh, of 1.19. Uh, thus, when these two elements bond, their uh, total radius from one nucleus of one of these to the other should be the sum of these two numbers, 1.19 plus 1.33. That number ends up coming out to be 2.52. The question then asks us to compare it to the uh, measured bond length of 2.55 angstroms. My conclusion is that the theoretical and the measured are pretty close. In the second problem, we're asked to explain the following trends in size. We've got iodide being uh, larger in size than iodine, being larger in size than I+. Plus. <clears throat> when we're dealing with the same element, uh, just different ions of that element, we can't talk about size being different by virtue of there being any more or fewer orbitals from one to the next. They'll have the exact same number of orbitals. We also can't talk about size changing uh, because of different numbers of protons in the nuclei because they all have the same number of protons in the nuclei. They're all iodine. Hence, the only difference is the number of electrons that each of them possess. Even though they're small, adding an electron to an element does increase its size slightly. Therefore, the one with the most electrons, iodide, will be larger than neutral iodine, which will be larger in size than iodine that has lost an electron, that is, iodine cation. In the second problem, we're asked to explain uh, this observation, that calcium cation is larger in size than magnesium cation, which is larger in size than the beryllium cation. As you look at the periodic table, you'll notice that calcium is located directly beneath magnesium on the periodic table, which is located directly be beneath beryllium on the periodic table. As we've discussed before, the lower you go on a column on the periodic table, the more orbitals you have. Hence, this observation is caused by there being more orbitals in calcium than there are in magnesium, than there are in beryllium. In the third example, we're asked to compare different ions of iron. Iron neutral to iron 2 plus to iron 3 plus. Just as we saw in example A, if you're dealing with the same element, sorry, if you're dealing with the same element, the only thing that's happened is I've gone from iron neutral to iron that has lost two electrons to iron that has lost three electrons. Even though they're very, very small, having more electrons on an element will make it slightly larger. Hence, neutral iron of this series is the one that has the most electrons, followed by iron 2 plus, which has lost two electrons, followed by iron 3 plus. That is the reason that we observe this trend in their sizes.